Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy, and for today's video, we will be doing Gagasos or the Gagasos, the food edition. Yes, I'm still wearing the same shirt because I'm shooting everything in one day, and I really can't be bothered to, you know, change my clothes for every single episode. I'm sure you wouldn't mind seeing that I'm just wearing the exact same blouse because that's not what matters right now. Um, and you know, hooray to those who can do that, like change makeup, change dress, change clothes for every episode. I admire you guys. Sadly, I am not that. And here, we are not perfect, but we like to keep things real. So, again, for this edition, it is going to be about food. Saan tayo dapat gumasos and saan tayo pwedeng magtipid? Where can we spend money on and where can we save money on when it comes to food? If this is something that is of interest to you, please go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, we are back again. My name is Kathy, and on this channel, we do a lot of unboxings, first impressions, quick reviews. You know, I always get those two wrongs. I always say first reviews. No, no, first impressions. See, I get all kinds of confused, but you guys know what I mean. We do a lot of unboxing series and reviews, and then we also talk about diamond painting and journaling. And um, I am so excited about this, you know, upcoming edition of ours the gagasos or the gagasos the food edition obviously i love food but i am actually learning to love food in a healthier way so journey with me on this and we'll make it a two-in-one so let's talk about gagasos or the gagasos the food edition so for food i would recommend gagasos tayo on veggies and um, fruits and then for the food mismo like you know the ulam we can go ahead and do that with chicken and fish. I'm not saying that pork and beef are bad for you. It's just that it takes longer to digest. So, mas malaki yung chances natin maging jibis <laughs> or unhealthy because of it. Okay? No judgment. I am not a vegan or anything. I'm just a normal person who eat an abnormal amount of food. <laughs> so, anyway, let's talk about the vegetables. I know, I know, people know this already, Kathy. But, we still need to reiterate because a lot of people still do not eat their veggies or do not invest in their veggies or get rid of veggies when they have to trim down the budget. And this is a mistake kasi guys, mas mahal ma-hospital kesa sa bumili ng gulay at prutas, okay? So this is something that I would like to, again, reiterate on this channel and hopefully, you know, get through someone's head man lang. So invest in your veggies. Make sure that when you do buy the veggies, to eat it as fresh as possible. Hindi naman ibig sabihin that you can't store it in the rep, but at least huwag mong patagalin ng more than 3 days. You know, consume it within 3 days. Now, eh, Kathy, I have so many leftovers. You know what you can do with your leftover, guys? Fretata. I think that's called what you call it. Fretata. Ano yon? It sounds complicated. No, no, no. <laughs> this is something that I do. When I see, oh, there's so, no, there's like so many leftover veggies. Because I went on a veggie spree. Uh, what I do is, so you get eggs, like say four eggs. And then you get half a cup of milk. Nags, nagturo, feeling ko sinera. Kati lang guys, kati lang, pagbigyan niyo ako. Um, so we have the frittata, so we have the four eggs. And then we have the half cup milk. Mix everything. And then put in the veggies, the leftover veggies. And then you can go ahead, either steam it, uh, put it in the air fryer, or you can just put it, um, or you can actually just kind of like, parang scrambled egg, but like super low heat. But it's best to be like steamed or air fry it. Magiging buo siya. It will look like a pie. It's really good. Like super sarap. Siyempre add the salts and, you know, papalasa. And it's ulam. Or merienda, depending on you guys. Kasi kami minsan, we make it merienda. Sometimes we make it our ula. But, it's a way to not waste uh, your your money. And then, it's a way for you to increase your veggie intake. O, ba? Now, the next on our list is fruits. Yes, frutas. So, uh, eating fruits can be hard for some people. And if you find it hard, then I suggest, you know, blending it. Para smoothie, o, ba? Mas mabilis to have your fruit intake. But make sure that you invest money in this because the fruits go hand in hand with fruit of uh, fruits go in hand with fruits. Fruits go hand in hand with veggies. Pasensya na guys, I don't use a script kasi. So I try to be as 
impromptu and as real as possible. So, means I meron talaga tayong mga mistakes and that is okay. So, again, invest in your fruits because it's also good for your body. Na wag naman sobra-sobra like parang puro mangga. Kasi mango has high sugar content. So, combination. Sabi nga, I think one of the things that I really love about reading stuff on is the more colorful your plate, the better. Meaning you have an assortment of greens and yellows and oranges and whatnot. Then it's healthier. That's why salads are good for you. Yes, salads are good for you. I know I used to think, why would I pay so much money for like dahon? <laughs> and now I realize, oh, because the dahon or the leaf and the veggies is good for your body. That's why people pay a lot of money. For that here in the Philippines, in other countries, it's actually cheaper to get the salads as opposed to getting the cake. But uh, sadly, in our country, it's not. Okay, now third on our list of Gagastos, the food edition, would actually be chicken. There's a lot of things you can do with chicken. And chicken can be very, very healthy for you. You can cook tinola, put malunggay. You can cook uh, chicken curry. You can, you know, stir fry chicken and put pasta. You can also cook chicken with uh, vegetables and potatoes and either put afritada sauce, minudo, um, caldereta. Pwede mo caldereta ang chicken. I think mali. Caldereta is beef. So, scratch that. Um, but there's a lot of ways to cook chicken. You can also steam the chicken and then air fry it, grill. Healthy. Walang, um, wala nang, wala nang, what do you call this? Wala nang oil. And it would still taste super good. Like, Trust me, I tried it. So I steamed it. I put sesame oil, salt, and um, pepper. Steamed. Nung luto na siya, I grilled it in the air fryer. So absolutely no oil. And it tasted so good. And it's healthy as well. And then the next one is the fish. Okay, so the fish. We all know the benefits of fish. It's good for the heart. You know, you can cook sinigang na salmon. You're like, mahal. Guys, actually... There's a, a way in your like SM supermarket or in the palenque that you can just get the chicken, uh, sorry, the chicken, the salmon head, and it will be cheaper. Cause happening yung lang yung mga tindera, and you know they can they can find ways for you. I do that with my SM supermarket guy, and he makes sure that I get the best salmon head and it's fresh and it's not all oh, yung presyo. That's why we are able to incorporate it in our budget. Just like you guys, I am not rich. If you think like this, no guys, trust me, I wish I was. <laughs> but I am not. I'm just like you guys. I have to work hard to make ends meet. And this is why I'm sharing things with you as well. Kasi, mahal nga palagang magkasakit. My mom sadly was hospitalized. The bill was <sighs> insane. Which rectified in me na, ay, we have to eat healthy. Ah. And then, you know, my brother kind of rained down on me na I have to do more physical activity. So, I'm doing what he said na sometimes I'd sit and then stand up, sit, stand up like 50 times um, every three hours. So, small movements, but to increase, you know, physical activities because we all need that. Anyway, going back to the food. So, again, four things I would suggest spending money on. Vegetables, fruits, chicken, and fish. Uh, lalo na the pampano, the salmon, kasi those are really good for the body. But kung hindi naman kaya, again, there are other ways. You can still eat fish and still be healthy. You can do more exercises. You can buy, you know, I would say siguro the, you, you know how it's not super good anymore, but it's still uh, like eatable. That's also okay. I don't believe na kailangan like lacking sobrang fresh. Ideally, yes. But sometimes we have to make ends meet. And so we do what we can. And that is not a bad thing. Okay, everyone's just tr you know, trying their best to survive. So let's stop making judgment on people. Especially when it's not asked for or unwarranted. Diba? And that was our Gagastos or the Gagastos Food Edition. Again, no hate to pork and beef. I still buy them but it's like 30% of my food groceries. The 70% would be veggies, um, the eggs, the chicken, the fish, and the fruits. And I hope that, you know, um, this is something that you could also reconsider if it fits your budget. Again, everything is subjective. So make sure that it fits your budget. And if not, then we can just, you know, do our work around on it. Leave a comment. I'll do my best to kind of 
suggest things. Again, I am not an expert. This is all based on my own personal experience. So take it with a grain of salt, okay? Um, I hope that this was helpful. If it was, please do subscribe, leave comment, like, share. Again, any kind of interaction is super appreciated by small YouTubers like myself. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!